Congratulations on your recent employment with Associated Students Incorporated. We're excited that you have chosen to work with us. We look forward to the contribution you will make to the success of our organization. ASI is a corporation that values service, teamwork, professional development, and fun. We strive to provide Cal State Long Beach students and community the best customer service experience. We work together to accomplish ASI goals and projects while recognizing that no one person, project, or department is better than another. We take pride in creating a professional environment in our attitude and in our attire. We desire for our staff to grow professionally through training and other educational opportunities. Associated Students supports Speech Pride, sponsors campus events, and participates in community activities. I hope you enjoy your work experience here at ASI. Let's listen and learn about our rich history and foundation. Go Beach! An Associated Students organization has existed on campus since the foundation of California State University Long Beach in 1949. ASI, originally known as Associated Student Body, formed the first semester of the school's operation. In 1956, ASI incorporated and became known as Associated Students. Every student is part of the ASI organization. Student fees pay for the facility operations and programming ASI offers, including the University Student Union, the Isabel Patterson Child Development Center, the Recycling Center, and the Student Recreation and Wellness Center. ASI is driven by its mission to serve the students and community at Cal State Long Beach. The mission statement of ASI reads, Committed to the principle of student self-determination in the shared governance of the university, the Associated Students of CSULB seeks to facilitate the achievement of students' educational objectives and life goals through programs, services, and facilities that advocate student needs and interests, compel student representation in campus decision-making, and provide students with resources that they identify as necessary for their intellectual, social, and physical development. Hello, and welcome to Associated Students, California State University, Long Beach, commonly known as ASI. We're glad you've chosen to work for ASI. ASI serves as a nonprofit auxiliary organization on campus for the students and by the students. ASI is a great place to earn a paycheck, develop your professional skills, and build great relationships with coworkers. To understand who we are today, it is important to know where we have been. So are you up for a tour of the beach? ASI staff members Eric, Danub, Stephanie, Dominic, and Murphy will also join us for the tour and later share with you about company policy. Let's go! So David, is it true that ASI started in a house? Well, Jenny, actually ASI did not start in a house, but the campus's first student union did. In 1957, ASI opened its first student union with the help from Sir Optimist International, who donated funds to build a house that provided student organizations a place to connect in a comfortable environment. In 1956, Sir Optimist International Long Beach noticed that the university did not have a place for the students to meet between classes. Because of this, they decided to hold fashion shows, rummage sales, and other fundraisers that managed to raise $19,000, which built this house and was impressive for that time. The Sir Optimist House has served many functions for ASI, from 1957 until 1971, student organizations met in the house. From 1971 to 1975, the Sir Optimus House served as the home for the University Child Care Center. Today, the house is also used for summer concerts, poets lounge, and other campus and community events. It's cool to know that students have had a place to hang out for over 50 years. So what's the next stop on the beach tour? Oh, Eric and Jenny, get ready, because we're going to the cutest place on campus. Oh, they're so cute. Eric, don't you just love how the hope of our future is found in the faces of children? You know, it takes incredibly patient and creative people to teach and guide these children. Hey guys, I remember hearing that the Child Development Center was once at the Seroptimus House. How did it end up here at the Isabel Patterson Center? You know, ASI wanted to provide childcare for students with children so they could attend class. In 1971, ASI partnered with the YMCA on Bellflower Boulevard to provide childcare for students. The Child Care Center later moved from the YMCA to the Sir Optimus House until this facility was built. Earlier, I got the opportunity to speak with two of the teachers here about their experience. <laughs> what words of wisdom would you offer to new staff members with working with children? 
I think for me, I, I just ask them to be really open to the process and open to hearing kids, playing with kids, being with kids, and, and, and just taking into consideration how precious the time is that they spend with them. What lessons have you learned from working with children that you have applied to your life? I think for me, the kids are always so open to trying new things and, and just participating. And I think just to be a kind of person that says yes more than I say no, I think is just something to take with me all the time. I become a parent while I've been working here, and so not only have I gained skills of parenting skills um, through working with children, but I think from the children too, along with what Edra said, just taking the most out of life. The children think they can do everything. So I think, um, and they're willing to try anything. So I think keeping that in mind too as an adult that, that we should keep an open mind and try more things sometimes. So Danube, do you ever take advantage of the recycling center here on campus? Yes, I try to be an eco-friendly entrepreneur. I redeem cans and bottles to pay for books. You're one smart woman. Well, ASI only hires the best and the brightest. Tell me what you know about the Recycling Center. In 1970, ASI opened the Recycling Center as a response to the call to reduce, reuse, and recycle. The Recycling Center serves the campus and the community. The staff collect recyclable items across campus. The Recycling Center is a place where the community may turn in newspapers, aluminum cans, plastic bottles, and glass bottles to redeem the items for cash value. According to the ASI Recycling Center website, in an average month, the Recycling Center collects and processes more than 150,000 pounds of material that might otherwise be disposed of in landfills. This includes approximately 300,000 beverage containers. Welcome to my home. This is where Dominic and I work. The Student Recreation and Wellness Center, or SRWC, is also home to students who pay activity fees with their tuition. So Jenny, tell me a little bit more about the history of the newest home to ASI. Well, David, the center opened in August 2010 after students passed a referendum agreeing to increase student fees to build the facility. The referendum passed in 2007 and building began in January 2009. The 127,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility features a hot tub and pool with areas to swim laps and play games. There are also basketball courts and a multi-purpose activity center used for intramural games and open rec pickup games. The center also has a 15-foot rock wall and an area to check out and use outdoor adventure equipment. Other popular features include cardio and weight machines, group exercise classes, and individual training sessions. Through the student activity fee, students are eligible for membership at no additional cost. The University Student Union is home to ASI staff and departments, student government, and student organizations on campus, such as the Robert C. Maxson Student Organization Center, Student Leadership and Development, Greek Affairs and Greek Life Center, and Associated Students Judiciary. As Cal State Long Beach grew, there was a need to develop a bigger student facility. In 1965, students voted on a fee referendum to build a student body center, which was later known as the University Student Union. In 1971, students began enjoying the USU, a place that became the center of community life for Cal State Long Beach students. Over the years, students have supported the USU's renovation and expansion. Let's listen to Jenny's conversations with former ASI government officials regarding their favorite ASI and USU stores. This is a large university and in any large bureaucracy sometimes it can seem, things can seem almost insurmountable. And what I learned is uh, no one person does much of anything by themselves. Uh, if you can get all the forces lined up, uh, you can do almost anything. And if you can't get them lined up, you can almost do nothing. <laughs> So teamwork is very important. Very important. And so you, you must recognize yourself as a, as a key facilitator, not as the person that's going to make every, everything happen. What is one contribution you made during your term that you see the impact when you visit the campus today? As president, I went with the, uh, another person. From, I enjoyed the, meeting the other presidents of the other uh, state universities, and I was one of two. went to the Board of Trustees, and we were successful in lobbying to get the uh, 
permission to hold elections to build student unions on the campus. So uh, all those, all those things. Well, thank you for our student union. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, it took it took an awful lot of people to to make that make that happen. But that was one little piece of the puzzle. We had a new president um, at the university, and. Um, Anytime there's a change uh, in leadership, there's a lot of questions and a lot of speculation about what the new leader is going to be like. Um, my goal at the time was to be very positive about the change. Um, this person was completely unknown to our campus, and um, there were different opinions about the um, stance that the student government should take with this new administration and whether we should start off you know strong and kind of in your face or whether we should st start off very strong um, and positive and confident about the working relationship and, and I chose that option I chose to work in partnership with administration as opposed to um, in conflict with them and I think that as a result of that um, there was really very little that we asked for um, as far as student government that the university administration did not bend over backwards to help us get. Um, I thought it was a very positive year and it was a very good experience for me in terms of um, setting a goal to achieve an outcome through working in partnership with someone and we were able to do that and I was proud of that. Well that concludes our tour of the beach. As you can see, ASI has a presence across all campus, from the USU to the SRWC, to the Recycling Center and the Isabel Patterson Child Development Center. ASI guidelines and policies apply to all locations, all departments, and all staff, including students that work part-time. We will review the dress code, probation and performance appraisals, the unit time clocking in, pay dates, and the disciplinary process. We will also receive words of wisdom from ASI alumni and staff members regarding their experiences of working for ASI. ASI strives to create a positive and professional work environment and we do so through the dress code. Employees are required to dress modestly, in good taste, and appropriate to the requirements of the position. No matter where you work, there are definitely some articles of clothing that you don't want to wear. First, it is not allowed by ASI, and second, it sends the message that you are not serious about your job. Don't disrespect ASI and don't wear these items while working. ASI also recognizes there are different dress standards within the different buildings due to the job position. SRWC staff wear a specific uniform while the Isabel Patterson Center and the Recycling Center staff tend to wear jeans, t-shirts, and tank tops. Full-time staff are expected to wear business casual Monday through Thursday. On Fridays, full-time staff members are allowed to wear jeans and t-shirts. Students who work part-time have a more casual dress code such as jeans, sweaters, skirts, blouses, and t-shirts. As student employees, we need to use good judgment and wear attire that is appropriate to our positions. If there are any questions, talk to your supervisor on what is appropriate to wear. Ripped or torn clothing, clothing with obscene or degrading graphics or comments, muscle or tank shirts, knit or ski caps, novelty or costume hats, suggestive or revealing attire, tube tops or tank tops unless worn under another shirt, midriff or belly shirts, see-through or mesh tops, off-the-shoulder tops, athletic or running shorts, spandex workout or cycling shorts, leotards or leggings, swimming trunks or bathing suits, workout, jogging, or sweatpants. Also, keep in mind, some of these articles of clothing may be permitted at the SRWC. No flip-flops! If you violate the dress code policy and wear any of the previously mentioned items, you will be clocked out and sent home to change to appropriate clothing before returning to work. Let's listen to what Jenny has learned about the importance of a company dress code. During your time with ASI, how did your work attire change? My work attire changed a lot when I first started. I didn't. I kind of didn't really know how to dress, and um, going through work and seeing, you know, examples, good examples from full-time employees, I dressed more <clears throat> professionally and more um, stylish, also at the same time. What lessons did you learn from the dress code that you can apply to your professional career now? In the future, when I uh, graduate, I'm going to apply um, learning 
learning how to dress professionally, first impression is a big deal. Um, that's what you, that's what I've learned. My biggest experience is that 